Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Learn Yoruba Online. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Horiki in Yoruba language. Every child born into the Yoruba family always has a name which they use to eulogize the person, either a male or a female. And this is what I'll be talking about because I realize that many people have an eulogizing name like this and Horiki and they do not even know the meaning of their Horiki. And then going into the video, I will say the boys first, uh, eulogizing name that are given to the boys first and then the second. Of course, in the aspect of the Yoruba language, uh, a name may actually mean different things. So the, uh, the definition that I'm giving to some of these names, I'm pretty sure are the general and the most popular, but sometimes it may not be it because one Yoruba word can mean different things sometimes. So let's dive into the video. The first name I'll be talking about is Akambi. We have people who we call Akambi, and Akambi is Akambi, one who is consciously or deliberately giving birth to one who is consciously or deliberately giving birth to a can be that is a can be we just give birth to him and then we also have a la b a la b a la b la means to struggle that is a la b b means to give birth la means to struggle and then we have a la b that is one that they break through to give birth to him a la b that is one that you have to go to it's it's a big it's a breakthrough to give birth to the person so you know sometimes because probably the mother didn't actually have an easy birth maybe the person the mother was uh, you know actually went through a lot of pain and a lot of struggle to give birth to the child sometimes they may name the child a la b that is you have to break through to give birth to him and we also have a journey a journey that is a ja ja in yoruba means to fight so a journey that is a child we fought to have that is you don't just get the child you fought to have the child and we also have adigun adigun gun means to to actually be to be to to fit gun means to fit to be okay and we have adigun as in righteous one and we also have akanda akanda Akanda, of course, this Akanda is not an Oriki, actually, I just put it there. Akanda is actually the name given to the uh, to those who are actually born with some disabilities. And Akanda means that intentionally created. They refer to them that people that are just intentionally created by God. That's how we have Akanda, that is intentionally created. And we also have Ajadbe, Ajadbe, Ja, as I said earlier, means to Ja. Be means to carry. So it's like a force to carry this child. I fought to carry this child, Ajadbe, that is, you fought to carry this child. And we also have Ajala, 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 one who has fought and survived. La means to, as I've said earlier, it can be to break through, it can mean to survive. So Ajala, one who has fought and survived. And we also have Ajao, Ajao means fighter with victory. Ajao means fighter with victory. Aja, as I said earlier, Aja means to fight. Ajaho, that is the one who fights, and then it's ho, that is everything is actually the way it's supposed to be. So fighter with victory. We also have Alaho. We are, we Alaho. La also means to divide. So Alaho, one di one destined to divide and conquer and conquer enemies. One destined to divide and conquer enemies. And we also have Adio. Adio also means righteous one who also means a warrior. Many people use the, some names because some people have actually bear the name before. For example, we have the name Samson. Samson, the name Samson might not really mean power, but many people who actually call their children Samson, they are using a connotation of Samson because there is someone who has bear the name before who actually was very, very powerful. You know, in the biblical times, we have Samson who is very powerful. So that's just some of these names like Ajao, Alao, Adio. They are used to connect the whole. I gave back to a warrior. I gave back to a warrior. Because some people who have actually lived their life bearing that name, they were once known as warriors. So people now turn it to a, war, a name that are ascribed to warriors. And that's how we have Adio, righteous one, which is a warrior. And then we also have Akanbe. I can be one consciously or deliberately carried. I can be, that is, I can be, I can be, you decide to carry this one. And we also have a can be, a can be, a can be is one who arrives in full determination. A can be, one who arrives in full determination. That is, the child does not just arrive, he arrives in full determination. And we also have a camo, a camo is one who is personally choosing. A camo, one who is personally choosing. And we also have a can be, Akanji, and Akanji is one whose touch gives life. Akanji, one whose touch gives life. Ji means to wake in Yoruba. Kan means to touch. So, or Kan means to touch. 
and can also means to you just decide to do something you know, as i've been saying earlier i can they i just and then this one is i can g i can can be i just or i can can be we just and i can can also be that we touch can is touch when something touch something that is can in yoruba or can can also be i intentionally do something so it means different thing and that's why i say i can g one whose touch gives life g means to wake up and then we have adisa this name is actually more of a process than you know when we say adisa when adisa sometimes people pack some things and then expose it to the sun that's that's the direct interpretation of adisa that is they expose something to they pack something and then expose it to the sun for one single purpose for the thing to actually be useful for the thing to be clearer for the thing to actually you know we have different uh as at then there is no machine in the whole yoruba world and so when people want when a lot of things want to go through process one of the process that things go through is actually for them to be exposed to the sun and when they are exposed to the sun then the clarity of them comes forth and then they are able to use them for the purpose for which they want to use them for so that is what we have an, in adisa and many people actually attach it to the clear one one whose purpose is very very clear one who is known so that's what we have in adisa and we also have ajadi ja as i said means fight ajadi means end of war D means to block. Ajadi, end of war. He fight and then he ended the war. So we also have Aweda. Aweda, one who is complete. You know, when you, and the reason they say this is that one who is complete, when you bat some child, they smell. They, they call it Ayan. They smell Ayan. But when you bat some child, they, they, they say, oh, Odasaka. Odasaka, that is, oh, yeah, it's cool. It's like, it's, 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 it, 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 the bat was, he, he took his bat and then it's okay. You know, some, some of the time you may see this as very crazy. That what's the meaning of this? But that's just the Yoruba culture, you know, the thinking as a then. So, our da, that is, you, you bait a child and then the child becomes very clean, like the way it's supposed to be. So, it's one who is complete. And we also have haremu, haremu, to be pampered before dealing with re means to actually pamper haremu mu means to take and then most times this is commonly used with uh the first child haremu is commonly used uh with the first child haremu and then we also have alade the one who break forth to come alade the one who break forth to come alade as i said la means to break through and we also have uh la which also means to be pure of course maybe i will use that later on or not i don't know we have alade one who break forth to come day means to come and we also have alade that is you have to break through that you have to struggle to carry this one it's not just an ordinary child you have to break through to carry the child and we also have a uh we also have alani alani that is you break through to have this child it's not just a child you break through to have the child we also have ario ario that is bring out joy upon sighting ari means that you see and then yo means to be glad, to be joyful. So are yo, that is a child that you see and then it brings, it brings joy. And we also have a ayinde, ayinde, we give praises and a kim. That is ayin means to, nye means to praise, de means to come. That is you give praises and then it came. And we also have ayinda, ayinda, ayinda is one who is choosing to be created. Nye means to choose, da means to create. So ayinda is one who is choosing to be created. And then we also have akane. Akane, Akane, Kan means to touch, as I've said earlier. Kan means to touch. So that is the profitable encounter. That is when you touch someone, it brings words. That they are. when I touch this one, I have words. So Akane, this, you know, some child is a lucky child. Maybe when they enter the family, they, they, they bring words. So Akane, or sometimes it might just be uh, Akane that we just have this child, that we just have it. You know, as I've said earlier, Akan means to maybe to just for jump something to just happen or something to for you to just intentionally do something or to touch something so one word can mean different thing so a may mean that okay a child that when we have him we have wet or a child that we just have the child the other meaning is that we just have the child oh we just have the child and also we also have a atanda one created to shine bright atom means tan means to shine that is to shine create da means to create so atanda one created to shine bright and so those are the male names i will go into the female names now the female names are less complicated because you know in yoruba culture they believe the female don't 
they just have to be pampered that's what it is but the male they believe they have a lot of destinies they have a lot of purpose and that's why we have a lot of complicated uh name for the males but the females they are just about pampering so we have in the female we have a baby a baby a baby means to beg to be bad that is be means to beg then b means to born that is you beg to give birth to this one that is a baby this one doesn't just come you beg to give birth to her and we also have uh, a beke a beke is that you beg to care for her care means to care when we're talking about the female oriki there is always care 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 there which is always like which means pamper or care for and we also have, and that's why i say a beke we have a beke as in we beg we beg for her to we begged her to caress her we beg her to care for her we beg her to pamper her and also have, we have and we also have abeni abeni means we beg before we have abeni ni means to have be means to beg abeni that is we beg to have this one and then we also have adubi 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 do means that you struggle to get something b means to give birth so adubi is one we struggle to give birth to one we struggle to give birth to and we also have aduke 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 is that do as i've said earlier do means to struggle care means to pamper or care for and when we say aduke aduke means that you struggle to actually care for her you struggle in order to pet her that is one aduke a child that everyone everyone fights for to care for because it is a privilege to pamper her a child that everyone struggle to care for because it is a privilege to pamper her that's what we have in aduke it's just a way of it's just all this uh oriki now uh, eulogizing name it's just a way of eulogizing someone making them know that oh, they are special they're special that's just what it means and we also have uh aduni aduni is a child ni means to own so aduni is the child we struggle to have aduni the child we struggle to have that is aduni the child we struggle to have and we also have adbike 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 means a child that you you carry in order to pet a child that you carry in order to pet and we also have ajike 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 means one who wakes up to some pampering that to some pampering that is ajike whenever you wake up you pamper her that is is very special whenever you wake up g means to wake K means to pamper. So Ajike, whenever you wake up, you just have to pamper her. So Ajike. And we also have uh, uh we also have we also have Ajoke. Ajoke. Ajoke means a child that we have to collectively cherish her. Ajoke K means you know pamper. Jo means collective. The Ajoke, a child that we collectively need to come together to pamper her. A child that everybody must cherish. A child to be a child born to be pampered and cherished by everyone. So that is a joke. And we also have a kanke, a kanke, a kanke. So this one is just a kan means when you come into contact. Ke means to pamper. This one means that okay, when lovable at first meeting. Now immediately you see this one, immediately you have an encounter with her, you just have to pamper her. That is so special, it's so charming. So that is a kanke. And we also have a lake, a lake. Alake. This one is means that la, as I said earlier, means to struggle. Ke means you no know, to pamper. No, alake means circumstances are to be overcome to take care of her. That is just how to care for her by all means. Alake, like you have to struggle to care for her. That is alake. And we also have amake, amake. That is knowing her is caring for her. M means to know. K means to pamper or care for. So I'm okay. That is, if you know her, you will pamper her. Knowing her is caring for her. Is caring for her. And we also have uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay is one with complete knowledge. Kwe means to be complete. Anike. Anike. Anike means that, okay, having this one, you have to pamper her. That is, a child that has to be pampered. Anike. Anike. That is, when you have such a child, you have to pamper her. That is Anike. Ni means to hone. K means to pamper. So Anike. Having this one means you have to pamper her. And we also have akbeke. Akbeke. Be means call. K means pamper. So called to be pampered. And we also have arike. Arike. Ri means to see. And K means to pamper. So one who should be cared for upon when one who should be cared for or pampered upon sight. That is immediately you see her, you have to pamper her, you have to care for her. And we also have 
Ashabi, as Asabi, Asabi, Asabi is one choosing to be born. When we're talking about Sa, it, Sa means to select something out of the genera and make one special. We also have Ayoka. Ayoka. Ayoka is a child who brings joy to everyone. Ka means that it's okay. It's uh, it it goes viral. Ka. So yo means joy. So Ayoka is a daughter who brings joy to everyone. And we also have Tinoke. Tinoke is someone that you have to care for her from your heart. So that is it for the Oriki and names in the Yoruba language. If you have any question, you can put it in the comment section. I will answer your question to the best of my ability. I hope you've been able to enjoy this video. This is Learn Yoruba Online. Can you like and subscribe to this channel for more content about the Yoruba culture, the Yoruba language, and every other thing that you need to know about the Yoruba language. And if you want a private tutor, you can reach out to me. This is Learn Yoruba Online once again. Have a wonderful day.